Is this the place where it turns? What do you mean, Clive? Well, I've noticed in most of our stories that things start out great. God gives us a wonderful garden, or a land filled with milk and honey, or a kingdom and the power to win all our battles, and then we ignore him and mess it all up. Now that you mention it, I've noticed that too. So does that happen to King Solomon too? Good observation, fellas. Well, all that wealth and all that fame can have an effect on a guy. King Solomon spent seven years building a house for God, then spent 13 years building an even bigger house for himself. That's a bad sign. He even built a big palace just for his favorite wife. Wait, favorite wife? He had more than one? It was common back then for kings to show how rich they were by having lots of wives. How many did he have? Two? More than that. Two and a half? You can't have half a wife. Two and three quarters? He has seven hundred. Seven hundred wives. <laughs> seven hundred? That's a lot of wives. Yep. Way more than he needed. First Kings also says he had 40,000 stalls for his horses. Way more than he needed. And that was a problem because God's law specifically said that kings of Israel weren't supposed to collect more horses than they needed. Yet that's exactly what Solomon was doing. But it gets worse. <laughs>